Like every town and village in Ireland, you have properties sitting empty, vacant, not being used. We've empty houses like this, and what we have, we had a similar situation in McCroom, an empty development that needed to be completed. The site, when funding ran out, containers left, it looks like an abandoned site, overgrown, a lot of illegal dumping going on. We could have walked away just as easy and left somebody else worry about it, but that's not Clude's mission. Clude's vision is a society where everyone has a great place to live. And what we have today is super accommodation for 29 families off the local authority housing list. I suffer from mental illness, depression. So I was kind of living out in the country with them, um, the family, and um, I was very isolated out there. We pass this a lot, and you kind of always see what a pity of a building, you know, because it was just abandoned for so long. So kind of when Clue took it over then, and they kind of showed me, I was really impressed at it was just a really nice building. Oh, it's great, great all together. It's great to wake up in the morning, it's lovely and bright. You've got something to look at every night when you come home. Do you know, if you have any sickness, it will help you more. So we were thrilled, I'm thrilled with this here now. It meets a huge need that we have um, for people on the housing list in McCroom and in the wider areas. Um, it's right in the centre of town and it is a model for the way we should be developing social housing in the future. I think we cannot do it alone. Local authorities on their own cannot deliver housing uh, and the needs for housing alone. So I think we, we do appreciate and we do support and we do rely on the support of Clute Housing Association and other voluntary housing bodies. I think you know the granary in uh, McCroom is a testament to that, uh, that we can deliver 29 new homes to, uh, to 29 families. And if we keep that to the focus of every new project we assess, uh, we implore upon developers and builders and lending institutions and local authorities to step up to the plate and go on a journey with us we can deliver social housing, but not one person can deliver all these things on their own. It's not easy, it's never meant to be easy, but it's very rewarding at the end.